I think people um, interpret explosive growth from an arms race perspective. Mm -hmm. Maybe you being like a year ahead and explosive growth means you could decisively win a war against uh, China or China could win a war against you. So would that lead to an arms race like dynamic? I mean, I think it would to some extent, but uh, like, I'm not sure if I would expect that like a year of lead to be like enough to take a risk. Because like, if you go to war with China, uh, I mean, for example, if, if the US went to war with, like if you replace China today with China from 1990, uh, or the, if you re replace Russia today with Russia from like 1970 or 1980, it's possible that their ICBM and whatever technology is already enough like, like it's already enough to make, like have very strong deterrence. So maybe it, even that lead, a technological lead is not sufficient so that uh, you would feel comfortable going to war. So that seems possible. Yeah. How worried should we be about the fact that China today just has, because it industrialized re relatively recently, just has more industrial capacity and know-how and all the other things of learning by doing and so forth. Um, if this, if if we buy your model of how technology progresses, with or without AI, mm -hmm. how like sh are we just underestimating China because we have this perspective that like what fraction of your GDP you're spending on research is what matters when in fact it's the kind of thing where like I am I've got all the factories in my backyard and I know how they work and I'm like I can go buy a component whenever I want. I, I don't think people are necessarily underestimating China. I mean, it depends on who you're looking at, but but it seems like the discussion of China is. Just this very big discussion when in, in 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 these AI circles, right? And so people are like very much appreciating the power and the potential threat that China poses. But I think the key thing is not just like the scale in terms pure in terms of pure number of people or like number of firms or something, but the scale of the overall economy, which is just me measured in how much is being produced in terms of dollars. But when and there, it, you know, the U.S. is is ahead. And but doesn't the um. Like, we're not expecting all this explosive growth to come from financial services. We're expecting it to start from a base of industrial technology and industrial capacity. I don't know. Financial services can be important if you want to scale very big projects very yep. quickly. Financial like services are very important for, like, raising funding and getting investments in data centers. And But, but I, that's just the, if I understood you correctly, it just seems like, man, you know how to do all the, like, you know how to build the robot factories and so forth. Mm -hmm. That, like, know-how... Mm -hmm which in your view is still crucial to technology growth and just general economic growth is lacking. And you might have more advanced financial services, but like it seems like the more you take your view seriously, the more it seems like the, the, um, the having the Shenzhen locally matters a lot. I mean, relative to like what starting point, like I think people already appreciate that China is very important. And then I agree that there are some domains where China is leading, but then there are very many domains in which the U.S. is leading or the U.S. and its allies where you know, um, countries that are producing relevant inputs for AI yeah. that the U.S. Have ac has access to, but but China you know, doesn't. Um, so I think I think the U.S. is just like ahead on many dimensions, and there's some that China is ahead or or, or, or at least very close. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't I don't think this should cause you to update very strongly in favor of China being a much bigger deal. At least, depending on where you start. I think people but, already think China is a big deal. Like this is the big underlying thing here. Yeah, like if people were just just very dismissive of China, then maybe this would be a reason to update.